talking about bread. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at my 100% whole wheat bread. So I already identified that I want a 100% whole wheat product by checking the label. Right, first ingredient, whole wheat flour. I automatically know it's made to 100% whole wheat. But I want to do this interesting comparison here. So here's my regular 100% whole wheat, and here's my light. And you can see that I'm not really changing the ingredients, but the size is a lot different. Um, our bread is huge. You know, these slices are about one and a half times the serving that we need. This is a much more accurate picture of what a slice of bread should look like. So even though it says the word light on it, it's not necessarily light in the ingredients, but it's a much smaller serving size, so therefore the calories are going to be much different. And we compare. I have two slices for this, 80 calories, and one slice here is 90. So it's about half the size just by using the word light. Wheat bread can be very deceiving. Um, what I encourage everyone to do is to check the ingredient label. If it says on the label 100% whole wheat or used with whole wheat flour, then it is a whole wheat product. This looks great, right? Wheat bread. Oh, great choice. Well, if we look a little bit closer at the label, we find that it's made with enriched wheat flour. And wheat flour, a whole wheat flour, is much further down the list. So while it might seem like a healthy choice, it's really a lot of white flour mixed with a small amount of wheat flour. And they call it wheat bread. But once again, unless it says on the label 100% whole wheat, or the first ingredient is whole wheat flour, it's just not a whole wheat bread.